I don't think I've been totally honest with you guys. What's up guys, back again with the Eclipse and we're gonna work on it today. So today's task is putting the stuff I found, which is the stock, some of the stock parts. And check them out. So I found the filter that's not cracked. Mine was cracked. I know why it was cracked and maybe that's another story for another video, but I got this factory. And I got a uh, recirculating obviously tube and uh, air intake uh, from the master sensor to the turbo. I got this stuck and I don't think I need the whole tube piping. I think I have the factory one on there, but it did come with the factory blow valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this, this, and the blow valve today. So that's what we're gonna accomplish today. So stay tuned. And I know a lot of you guys said, Memo, this car will never pass Mog. It's an issue, this always happens. I get it, I totally understand. But you know what, if I don't try, I never know, right? So sometimes um, it's better trying than not trying. So I know a lot of you guys said, Memo, hit me up, I got you. I know somebody, right? Right. But doing the right thing is always the right thing. And at this moment, doing the right thing is putting it back to stock and putting this thing on it. I think this might help it. I don't know. It's right next to the charcoal canister, so this might be an issue. And I'd rather try. And worst case scenario, if we have to do what we have to do, then we have to do what we have to do. And let's put this on. This right here. First things first, we're going to remove this filter obviously um, the, for those that you know or for those that know know that this shouldn't be facing this way so I'm gonna need a new uh, I don't think I need a new one of the uh, canisters but I am gonna need a, a new bracket and I can obviously tell it's bent so this is bent this way quick story why this is probably cracked and why this is bent is because back in the days I want to say it was 99 99, yeah, it wasn't before the paint in the body kit. In 99, quick story, I won't, we'll talk about it in more details later because I know somebody that's willing to share the whole story. But, make a long story, I crashed. Not the whole car, just the bottom bumper. I was being chased by... I was being chased by law enforcement at the street races. And lucky me, I didn't get caught. Don't... I don't recommend doing that so disclosure do not do what I did um, this is way back then this is I learned from my mistakes and I don't recommend anybody doing that making a story short I was being chased I was far ahead of whatever make a long story short I try to make a right into a parking lot my my brakes were hot and I, I crashed into a stub this bent back and the uh, others yeah it was actually this corner so this corner hit this and it bent it back. So that's why I'm guessing this is broken. It might have smashed up into something. So we're gonna replace this right now. As you can tell, last time we worked on it at Ryan's house, I put a zip tie on there to hopefully kind of help it out just for the time being. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it. You can see it's, it's broken right here. So I'm thinking this has an issue because it does uh, suck from there into here. So this is a filter filtration system. This is just an open line for air. So broken, not broken. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on there for now. And yeah. Because it is bent back, it's making it difficult. I don't know if I'll block it. Because it is bent back, it's making it difficult to stick my hand in there. Because normally, obviously, this wouldn't be back there. It'd be over here in this corner, but it's this way. All 
right, so this is done. Now we're gonna move into the uh, engine bay. Check that out. So it's been a while since I've taken this out, but for some reason, it still has the socket in there. <laughs> So now the only thing I need to do is put the mass air sensor up to here, uh, put the factory blow off here, and uh, we can piece it. There was another person at throttle. Uh, um, video said that this was a uh, fake ready. And I tell him I don't rock fake stuff, bro. Just kidding. Uh, it was funny. I appreciate you. If you're watching, uh, make sure to comment um, to tell me this is not real. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can make that happen. It doesn't say jetty. What do you think it says? It says gritty. I just didn't put the cover because at the time I didn't want to mess it up. But I might even still have the box for this, which I think I do. But it, it is a gritty. Shout out to gritty. Big, big shout outs to gritty, man. I love your products. Been supporters since day one. Um, to everybody at, at gritty. Gritty. Put this rubber piece up, not sure, I think it goes, but it was on the gritty blow off valve. And we're gonna just put this one back, so. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just for the gritty one. Uh, for some reason, I feel that it goes in there. So that fits. Now, we just need to loosen it up a little bit. So my neighbor's whistling at me. Let's uh, go ahead and see what he, what's up with him. All right, so took the blow off valve, gritty blow off valve, engine intake. I'm just gonna come back and get that mass air sensor off of there. And uh, let's go, let's go check what my neighbor wants. What you, you got it rolling? What you got going on hey, over here? Hey, uh, you know, this guy across the street, my partner, his name is Guillermo. His birthday was in April. I promised that I was going to throw down. I kept telling him, bro, I'm going to do this for you. This is what they call the Korean short ribs. Okay. Okay. But you know what? Now it's not only my birthday, but it's his birthday as well. So shout out to, to Rod and, and happy birthday to him as well. But if you don't know. You don't know. Right. You don't know. This is the top secret right here. The nothing but the bomb. Nothing but the bomb. If you can't get it here, you ain't gonna get it nowhere else, brother. Right, so backyard boogie, right there. Man, check it You'll out. You'll be the taste tester. The taste tester right there. It's like that, bro. I know you can smell it. I know you want it. I know it. Oh, real quick, let them know how long have you been marinating it. Oh, seven days, nothing. Nothing but seven days, bro. Man. So you know melting your mouth, not in your hands. You know how it goes, bro. OG. The house. So we had to take a break on the eclipse because we're about to grow up. So stay tuned. I wish you guys were here. You guys have to try it. Man, it ain't nothing like old school neighbors. Uh, they've been here since what year? 65. Bro. Since 1965, man. And uh, man, they've been awesome neighbors. I've been back in this neighborhood for, for about 15 years now. And man, it's always good to have awesome neighbors. And Don't awesome, worry. awesome neighbors with ribs. That's it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna eat real quick and uh, we'll get back right. to the car right now. All right, so the ribs are, like I said, uh, cooked now. Uh, thanks to Rod again. Barbecue, Korean, chicken, marinated for seven days, he said. Nothing but a G thing. I don't know, I think that's what he threw out there. But thanks, appreciate it. Mad love to the neighbors, uh, Filipinos. I appreciate you guys. 
Um, thanks. Let me eat this real quick and then we'll go back outside. Uh, having Filipino neighbors is uh, is a blessing and they're always cooking man and again they've been there since 65. Uh, my family has owned this property since uh, 79, 78 and I've been here for some quite some time so uh, anyways I appreciate it Rod. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to myself as well. It was in April but um yeah the ribs pff, bomb so let's get back to the eclipse. We're all set and we have all the parts off. Um, factory uh, bluff off off of that. Ready, uh, let's, let's not do that. I don't want to scratch that one up. It's OG. Um, engine intake, air filter off. Uh, cracked one done. And now we have factory air box on, factory air intake uh, uh, on. Factory bluff on, all the vacuum lines on. I um, think that's it. And we're back to stuff. So let's gotta leave the keys. I think they're inside next to the ribs. I connect the master sensor. Look at this. Connected. Factory bluff elf just doesn't sound good. I have a surprise for you guys. Surprise, surprise, surprise. So when I was looking for those parts, uh, factory parts, um, I've been looking for a specific um, uh, intercooler, um, period correct to this car. And I happened to find it. And when I found those parts and I found the intercooler, the guy said, big Eclipse fan um, he said man you could have it so I got it and I got the in the intercooler that I was been looking for online and it is a big front gritty real gritty I don't think you can see it but it's gritty stamped right here from our intercooler um, yeah I'm excited for that so period, period correct Front mount Grady uh, intercooler. Obviously, the Grady made a, uh, I believe it's, was it 18G or 20G? I think it was an 18G for this uh, car. They made a street legal 18G kit for this car. And this um, front mount intercooler is street legal. There is a carb number uh, for it. I found it online. And I could throw it on there with no issues. Obviously, I wouldn't put it on this. I might lose boost I mean uh, pressure or have a lag because it's just too big for this um, intercooler I mean this uh, stock turbo but man it sure is gonna look good let's pull it out this is the back side uh, you can kind of see the, the gray stuff so this uh, intercooler this is the front side and the, the top part goes across uh, into the throttle body and the bottom the lower half of the piping goes to the turbo and I already have the intercooler packing for this it's right there it's like kind of put it blue I don't know this is a I don't know if the, I think it's already came this way so I'm gonna clean this up I'm gonna clean this up and um, 
Maybe we should put it on there. Let's pass them out first. The car is idling good. One thing I didn't uh, know or told you guys that, uh, I'm not wrong, this is uh, first gen. Uh, first gen, I think it is. Wrong about it, if I'm not right, then you know something was bigger or it was ported or something. I don't remember. It was done a while ago. So, man, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a big, big support. I appreciate you all. And. Don't pay attention to what's in the background. I don't think I've been totally honest with you guys. When I picked up these parts, picked up that inner cooler, I got something else. And I think because you guys have been major, major, uh, big support for me, and and got me back into DSM and got me back and excited to for the Eclipse all-wheel drive turbo GSX, right? I haven't been honest, but I want to reveal something with you guys, but I need your help. And I'm gonna need your help. Um, I'm thinking we're close to 3,000 subscribers. If you guys can help me get to 5,000, I'm gonna show you what I got. What I got. Not only the, the factory parts, but and the inner cooler, but I got something else. And I wanna reveal it to you but I need you guys to help me let's grab let's get to 5,000 subscribers and I want to show you what I have in the background um, help me 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible and I'll reveal what's in, underneath there and I don't think you guys will be very dis you, you guys won't be disappointed you guys you guys are gonna be stoked because I'm stoked and I'm stoked to be back in the DSM game and man I appreciate you guys again thumbs up comments below if you guys have any questions if I'm doing something wrong or if you guys think I should be doing something here or that or whatever you guys think man uh, metal it's not about me it's about you guys as well man thanks for watching subscribe and make sure 5,000 subscribers help me I'll show you what's back there